Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. We're gonna head further south, people. This is this is outrageous. It's still freezing. But the truth has not been told. There's every corner of these woods is hollow. I can't see you. I know I kicked my shoe in the water. The sand? Yeah. <gasps> You're ugly. That would have been like horrible. Oh, I would have cried. Losing your uggy. So made it into this anchorage and we have an in boom furling mainsail. And until now we kind of thought it was okay. We were like getting used to it and just seeing how it goes. But coming into our anchorage today we had a lot of trouble putting it down. The battens had actually like come out of their uh, the sail's old obviously and the battens were starting to come out at the ends. Anyway, it was really hard to wind the sail. Got to have the boom so that it, when it furls, it furls in nice and evenly. We're not sure about the in-boom furling. Have mixed feelings about it. We're in this anchorage, we're going to stay the night because there's winds all week. So we're just gonna have a good night's sleep, wake up tomorrow and head off and probably head towards Turtle Bay, which is about 180 nautical mile run from here. We've come down the Baja coast of Mexico. I've had a hand line out the back of the boat with a so-called cedar plug. Anyway, I've had no luck. We need some food. We need some fish. Whilst I was in San Diego, I got some dive weights for Taj and I to go spear fishing. And this lovely old fellow uh, donated me his pen senator. So if you know anything about reels, it's an old senator. She's a good old reel, good old reliable reel, capable of pulling in a bloody good sized fish if you have a rod to go with it. So I don't, I have the reel, I have no rod. And what I'm going to do is use this reel. I'm gonna get rid of this cleaning brush. I'm gonna take the head off this and transform this into a rod, a reel, and I've got a little Ronston guide for one of the sheets. I'm gonna stick that on the end. Alright, so Lee's up there just having a look at our mainsail again and I'm um, about to make him a mud water. We're sailing again today so he needs to stay sharp and focused and high energy. This is what this does for him and for me and for everybody on board. Mud water is a coffee alternative and is a part of our morning ritual, whether we are sailing or anchored up exploring. Its health benefits from the organic ingredients of medicinal mushrooms, cacao and spices help us with focus, energy and immunity without the jitters or dependency. We love the flavor and know that by including healthy habits like this in our morning routine, we set ourselves up to feel good no matter what the day brings. Sales at the moment, one sale. It's the button. I think, that's what's the we think it's a baton stopping from a nice furl, but I know we're trying to figure it out. The mizzen sail furls really nicely, but this one doesn't. It's bunching. Oh, now we're out of that wind. It's cold. <laughs> it's so cold. They're old sails. I'm not sure. I just I don't know if it's a sail, the furling, or 
human error, I'm not sure. But we'll give it a little go first. I, I do like the concept of the furling boom, but if it doesn't work, we're just gonna have to go to slab reefing and throw another boom on. How's the conditions looking out here today, honey? Look, we had like a 24 hour passage, so whatever time we leave today, we should get tomorrow, get in tomorrow around the same time, so with this wind, we could actually make better time, potentially. But we might leave around sort of 11-ish, and that way it gives us a little buffer if we're too early, and then obviously we've got another seven hours of daylight until to get in on if for some reason we slow down. But really, this thing under poles will do five knots on the way down there, so I can't see us not getting there at least at five knots. You should have the wind up our bum, hopefully a little bit on the beam, just for a more pleasant ride. There's a bit of a bit of west in the swell so it gives us a bit of a roll it was real awkward so I got a couple of hours to have my mud water and get my spinnaker pole ready and just have a quick play with these battens because the spinnaker pole's not in use and it's yeah I haven't got lines and everything set up for it yet so I've got to sort of work out how to get that working a lot of uh, tuning to do with everything all the line sheets is missing lines where to attach them what goes where so we're still got to figure out a lot of stuff it's gonna be a little while, a little process, but once we get it dialed in, uh, she should be good. Being online, looking at these furling booms, and people do, like you do have to take the wind out of the sail, as opposed to like, when we used to slab reef on Catalpa 1, we could we could do it running downwind, and we could just ease it, do whatever. Slab reef it however. It was just traditional, three reef, slab reef main. Worked simple, easy. This, you've just gotta take the wind out of it, so, you. Pretty much nearly every time you go to reef, you gotta just, you don't have to point dead wind. You don't have to put the nose straight into the wind, but you have to um, take the wind out of the sail. So go a real close reach and then just let the um, sail flap and it should furl up, it should. But more importantly today, we've got a really cool fishing rod to try out. I'm showing a bit of crack. My bum's hanging out the back and it just got frozen with that wind. Always showing a bit of crap. That is so cold, it's like ice hitting me. Butt cleavage, honey. It doesn't get the views, you know. Oh no, we're sailing. We're actually sailing. I love to sail up and we're actually sailing. Alright, you gotta pull the anchor if you want to actually go sailing though. About to go down the back of the boat, but before you get blown away with windage, wind noise, I'm gonna try out the new rod today. Just left our anchorage. Let's go. All right, guys, you know I love the Qantas, the old red and white. Oh, she's never hit the water, this one. Oh. There it is, the old Helco hard body. Let's see what we can do. Oh, look at that. Looks good in the water. I'd have a chew on it if I was a fish. That's the sound we want to hear. Oh, it's been a while. I've never really been the one who's worried. Always been the one who's keeping it cool. The kind of guy who chill while others hurry. I didn't know that I've been the fool I've been telling lies about something real But I know love is based on honesty Kept thinking how real love should feel Knowing that it's not just you, it's me Cause I was made to be free adjusting our course so it's a little bit more comfortable. There's been a bit rocky today. Has my dear. Alright. 
stay out watching him if he doesn't fall overboard. He's got all his safety gear on, I see. Hold on, two hands. All right, so Lee is going to put the pole out onto the head sail so that it doesn't flap. He hasn't done this before, so that is a spinnaker pole, but he's putting it out on the head sail so that we can hold this course and the sail doesn't flap and it's more comfortable because we do have a bit of swell out here. I think it's over two meters. Going down on another day, another day on the ocean. Speed over ground, 10 knots. We're obviously surfing down a wave, but yeah, we're averaging seven, eight knots. We are just hooking along. We've got the moon again with us. Apart from the freezing coldness, <laughs> it's pretty pleasant. This is the time. Look into your eyes. Look into your eyes. We're gonna stop there and take a break. We've been flying though. How was your night, honey? Bloody ripper of a night. <laughs> we had the wind on our tail and um, uh, but we have about 20 Sure. We thought we'd get in here at lunchtime today. <laughs> and it's 6 a.m. We went like 100 miles wing on wing. Wing on wing. Uh, and I took about 150 degrees, 145. Wasn't too bad, there were a couple of metres of swell out there.
came in to check out an Anchorage but it was pretty deep, we couldn't really see the bottom, it looks really rocky. wind and the little bit of wind is actually on the nose so we can't sail we're just motoring but there's not much swell and it's really a nice calm day which I actually really like. Uh, the wind has just picked up and it's going the right direction so boys are bleeding out the sails again and hopefully we'll be able to turn the motor off. That was relaxing. Absolutely ripper of a day sailing. We've been up around 10, 11 knots surfing down waves and the wind's been just on our bum so it's been really nice. 180 nautical miles and it just felt real quick and easy. Uh, we lost one little bit today, we motored for a couple of hours, we come around the lee of an island and we were sheltered from the wind. We just powered on and thought we'd see if we could get down here and we got up around 10 knots so we got down here just in time before dark. We're just going to mosey on in. We don't need fuel or food or anything from here so we're probably going to find our own little spot in the bay here and leave first thing in the morning. It was a bloody humdinger of a day. This guy's running off about two hours sleep in the last 24 hours so he's in pretty good spirits. <laughs> I'm ready to have a sleep. Coming in. It's very different scenery than what we're used to. And there are those blue bottles floating on the surface again. They're a bit different. They don't have stingers. So I don't think they're the old man of war. Well then I was we've got the old man of war with a two or three metre tentacle that wraps around you and gives you a real good bite. But apparently these ones don't even have a tentacle or don't even give you a sting so they, they look like little sails rather than bubbles the blue bottles we get have got like bubbles on them as their head and these have got like a thin sail they're just sailing along now oh, look at them they're like little sail boats funny not down with run for these fellas they were all racing today it was the blue bottle regatta Big swells out there for those guys. Yeah, yep, yep. There's thousands of them out there today <laughs> racing. And uh, we'll see which one gets over the finish line. It's stacked up, it's gonna be a close one. Our second stop along the Baja Coast of Mexico. 